we're two weeks into the brush season. Yep. Um, you know, new pieces of the team, you know, trying to build chemistry and all that kind of stuff as fast as possible. Um, with a short training camp and sporadic practice time. How mm -hmm. do you feel where you guys are two weeks in and, and how have you gone yeah. about trying to build all those things as quick as possible? Yeah, I mean it's hard, right? Short season or short short training camp. Um and so we're still in the process of building of building that chemistry um with our with our core group and adding the new pieces that 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 we have, um, that's going to be a process. You know, some some it happens quicker um, than others, and some it's a little bit slower. So for us, we're still in the process of doing that. We're not where we where we'd like to be at um, at this point, but understanding that's a process and it's going to come. Um, obviously, Tina spent some time here. Mm -hmm. um, how's her? How's she come along? What have you? Is she? How? How's yeah. her kind of? development for yeah her. yeah <laughs> yeah it's still that's that's still a process too right because um you know for majority of tina's career she's been um the main person you know what i mean the focal point of every of every offense um the focal point of every team um i wouldn't say she's necessarily the focal point she's a part of what we have um, what we have going it going on, so um, that's going to be an adjustment for any player of of that caliber caliber at this stage of their career. So she's still working working that out as well as we we're working that out as as well. But um, again, like I said earlier, it's just a process of continuing to build that chemistry and playing with other people and playing with um, other great players. You know, we had three all stars last year, so we're all trying to integrate, and then we have. Tina, who's a future Hall of Famer and has been all star, she's um, an Olympian and all these different things. So it's just a process. Um, I, I've I obviously was privy to playing with Tina, so there's nothing that that really surprise surprises me. Um, I've seen her seen her at the at the highest peak in terms of her her career, so. Good. Kind of picking up on that, you know, how's that been for you going from a teammate relationship with her to the player coach of the team? Yeah, I, um, it's been it's been fine just because of the 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 nature of our relationship. Um, in general, we've always been it's always been a relationship like a big sis type type relationship. So, so it's been fine. Um, we banter a lot, and sometimes I think for for her teammates, they're looking like, well, is this what, what's going on? You know what I mean? It's just a lot of banter because we we have a previous relationship, um, but other than that, it's been it's been fine. Man, their pace, um, the way they play, they play with such great pace. Um, they space the floor. They do a great job of spacing the floor, moving the ball, sharing the ball, um, playing playing the right way. Um, they're aggressive defensively. Um, we know that there's going to be tons and tons of nail help, so we got to read the second defense, the second line of defense, and be able to to make them pay for those, um, for for that way, that aggressive way of of defending. Um, so that's mainly what I see. Hey. Um, just how well you all have been uh, preserving possessions and taking care of the ball. Yeah. Possession. What do you attribute that to, and how do you assess that? A better focus, um, a better focus. The last two years, that has not been our our mo, and so we came in with a a heavy dose of we want to make sure that we take care of the ball. We want to make sure that we get great shots on goal, um, every single time down. Um, so I think contribute that to the players, um, of really buying in and what that looks like for us offensively if we're able to um take care of the ball. Um, so that's something that we have to continue to do, especially tonight with such an aggressive um, defense. And in terms of what you're saying, just about what we've seen from Washington offensively, yeah. when you see that you know they haven't really scored a lot of points, it's 28 points. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
do you think that that's that's not intentional, right? Do you think that they want to attack in there or? Oh yeah, I mean, I I think the way that they the way that they play offers them up open opportunities from the perimeter, right? Because um, obviously you have Dolson who sets screens, and sometimes people switch, sometimes people mess up that switch. She's able to pop. She's open. You know, Van Lu does an amazing job of finding um finding the weak side when help side is all the way in so just the way that they're they're playing and the way that defenses have have played them i think it's lended towards their opportunity to shoot the ball um from the out from the outside from my opinion mm -hmm. yeah yeah yep Yeah. 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 Regardless, we want to get up and down. I don't. I don't think it would matter who we're playing against. Uh, we want to play with that at high pace. You know what I mean? We want to. We want to be able to get up and down. I think that's probably one of the keys for us. Um, to be honest with you, is pushing the ball and trying to score early in transition, so we're not fighting against their aggressive defense every single every single possession. So if we can get some early opportunities, some easy opportunities, I think that that will help help us offensively. You know what I mean? Open it up a little bit, a little bit more. So um, you know, some 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 games are just games where you really need to to hone in and focus on yourself. You know what I mean? And do things the way that you're looking to do and the way that you're looking to play. Um, and so for us coming off of a game like like Minnesota, where I didn't think that we executed defensively as well as we could, I think tonight we really need to focus on um, our execution, both on the defensive end and on the offensive end. Yeah, in terms in terms of early buckets, I mean, we want we want to push it, and if there's something if there's something available that um, is is your type of shot for each individual that changes, that's different, right? If it's your type of shot and it's a and it's an open shot, and you you have the confidence to knock it down, knock it down. You know what I mean? But we whether that's rim runs, whether that's uh, north south attacks off the dribble, whatever it is, we want to push the pace. If we don't have anything easy, then yeah, let's let's bring it out. Let's set up and let's execute on the offensive end. But if we get some early opportunities and they're your particular shot, then we need to look. We need to look to take advantage of that. We're going to jump quickly to Zoom. Go ahead, Megan. Hey, Coach. Good to see you. I hey, um, wanted to just ask you about just assignments for probably honestly the second unit. Um, I know we talked about, you know, in the last press conference, defense and that sort of thing. But what are you looking to see out of your bench more tonight? Just energy. I think energy, activity um playing with confidence i think you know anytime you're you're somebody who doesn't start the game or you're coming off you're coming off the bench um you have to come in with extreme extreme energy you have to play with confidence knowing that um you know you have the ability to to be out there so really just looking for the confidence and looking for high energy and high activity awesome and what socks are we rocking today I got two can Sam from Fruit Loops on today. Pretty sure. <laughs> All right, I don't have. Ask I, Megan. Of course, and this is this is a thing, right? I'm keeping track too, by the way. So oh, good. Uh, but Won't be no I, did, I don't. <laughs> I don't have socks for you, but I will send Liam a picture of my dog because he said you might like that. Um, <laughs> so I have a I have a seven month old puppy. Oh yeah, I got a new dog. <laughs> okay. It's it's a What'd lab mix puppy. Uh, okay. He's a lab mix named Charlie, so I will send that. I'll send that to Liam so you can see see the dog. All right, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> hey, Coach, uh, you talked about them playing an aggressive defense. What are the things that you want to see your team do against the defense that comes that aggressive from Washington? Yeah, we want to we want to handle pressure. Um, anytime somebody plays an aggressive defense like that, we got to be able to use it against them. Um, so that means north south attacks. That means basket cuts. Um, attacks after we get cuts, and that means moving the basketball. Um, they do a great job of loading up and really forcing you to um, make make reads. And so we got to be great at um, making the read and reading the second line of defense. Um, if we have opportunities to beat, you know, our man, then knowing that the second line of defense will be there because that's just the way that Washington plays. That's how they've been playing um, for the past few years. And so we got to be able to make the read to the next person who's open and when they rotate to the next person to the next person till we get the best shot possible.
my last is you talked about ball screen defense against Minnesota. Yeah. And you want to make sure it's good tonight. What are you looking for mainly when you say you want to see better ball screen defense and them, I want them playing better against it? I want them to execute what the game plan is. <laughs> That's what I want them to do. <laughs> All right, Coach, have a good one. All right. We'll, we'll finish up with one more question from James, who's calling all the way from Ireland. Um, so please feel free to ask your questions. Yeah. Hello, uh, Tanisha. Uh, Tanisha, I just want to ask you about the evolution of Shanine Parker's uh, game this year. Last year, she shot 28% behind the arc, averaged 15 points uh, per game. She started off the season 9, 18, 16 and 10. Do you think there's a possibility that Shanine could uh, maybe average maybe 20 points per game this season? What's the next evolution of her game, the next steps? Uh. Good question. I, I don't know if there's a possibility for 20 points, but anything is possible. Um, we we have, I think we have such a um, talented roster um, that, you know, that I think that that would be <laughs> extremely, extremely hard. Um, but the role that Cheyenne is playing for us this year is um, is a really good, is a really good role. Um, Cheyenne is an all-star caliber player. There's no doubt about that. Um, when you put the talent together that we have together, together that there comes there there comes a commitment from each player to understand like that we have to play together. So Cheyenne might have less shots. Leash is probably gonna have less shots. Rye might have less shots um, because we have so much more talent. Uh, once we get Jordan back, that also probably changes. So that's a that's a hard thing to to say to be honest. But we love where where Cheyenne is. We know Cheyenne is capable. Um, capable of doing all the things that she's doing. Obviously, she was an all-star last year. Um, so she's capable of playing the way that she's been playing, whether that's stretching the floor out, whether that's being a dominant post on the inside. She's capable of of doing everything that, that you see her doing, for sure. Thank you, everyone, for your time.